Excited. I'm going to do a two part, two part tinker time because we have these, we have these four uh, wonderful products from Relish 3D. I've been looking forward to these for a long time, and uh, yeah, we have leg extenders for the legs of the solo flip out so that it still fits in the bag nicely. Front leg sliders slides them out of the way just a little bit um, uh, because of the way the GoPro is set up the lens is not directly in the middle of it so in the gimbal which is right in the middle of the solo the lens is offset and it's close to this leg and sometimes when you're making maneuvers leg gets in the shot especially if it's wide so these slide it out of the way we have a lovely little clip it's going to replace this clip here, have it come from the bottom, and the benefit there is that when you're accessing the side of the GoPro, the memory card can be popped out without you having to remove the camera from the gimbal. And then the last one is a ribbon HDMI cable, which is going to, uh, it's going to attach from the gimbal to the board on the inside of the solo and the um, benefit there is that it is the cable itself is very flexible uh, the one that comes with it is very rigid and so uh, the idea is that the rigid cable transmits vibrations from the aircraft into the gimbal with this flat one it's rooted in a nice way it's flexible less vibration on the gimbal figure we'll start with the leg extenders and the sliders. I don't know why I would reuse this package. Anyway, I know different versions of the sliders, different versions have been different colors. Uh, my shipment came just a little bit later because they had a new version of the fold-out feet. Version 3. Black. Which is nice. Keep everything on here, but sliders are black. Noticed on uh, Relish 3D has their own great installation guide on YouTube. So this is in addition to that. Um, I've had my solo now for just a few months, decided to get a couple of upgrades for it and uh, for this particular installation I'm going to be uh, taking solo and flipping it upside down. It's the only uh, tool that we need for this as far as I can tell is our screwdriver. <clears throat> The idea with the sliders here is that there are a couple of pieces. We have a small piece that says slider. <clears throat> we have a larger piece that works as the bracket. These are little locking clips. And from what I understand, we're going to use the screws that are here in and with the solo. Just to get a better look at the legs. 
Those are the two screws. On either side. Another thing we have to be mindful of uh, with this project is that one of the legs, this one here, has the solo antenna. They've actually shown it to us right here on the side of the leg. The label says solo antenna. So solo antenna just means that there is a little cable that's running out from the body of the craft through the leg up and down, uh, uh, up and th up and through the leg. And the way they've designed it, it looks like there's a little channel here. In the original version, I think there was a, a little path it had to take. It looks like now it's just a straight channel for that cable. And when we install it, we're going to make sure the cable's in there without any tangles. And uh, that way, when it's sliding back and forth, the cable goes goes through. So first uh, step, unscrew screws for the legs. <laughs> Just want to add as I'm doing this, I didn't mention it in my first very, uh, uh, very first video. This is, you know, soft metal through even softer plastic. Who knows how many times you're going to be going in and out of your aircraft or upgrades or modifications. Take it easy. So lucky for us, it looks like these screws are actually pretty long to accommodate a little extra something here. I believe the next step is to uh, take our slider plate here and our leg. We want the word slider facing in towards the uh, center of the craft. <clears throat> Slip it onto the leg here. Apparently this can get a little tight. But that it fits on nicely. With a little bit of pressure. What do you know? It does. So, let's see how this goes. Uh, I believe this fits right in here. It looks like the uh, screws fit in nicely. Double checking my clearance here. Wow, well, yeah, nice, nice snug fit. So we'll take our first screw and lock it in. This one down here. <laughs> That's snug in there. First screw is nicely into the bracket. So then we're going to take our leg and we're going to uh, we're going to take this and snap it right in. I'm going to take the foam out of the gimbal. Give us some room to play here. Yeah, okay, doesn't take a lot of pressure at all. And we slide that right in or out. <laughs> or anything like that, the plastic meets up right at the end. Nice amount of space and bumper. <coughs> Next thing to do is to put in the lock tab. Everything is still lined up because our first screw locked it in so nicely. This is a little tab of plastic that they've included. Drops right in. <laughs> Alright, that screw is in. That means that our little locking plate here which has a, a stopper to it. Nice and stiff too. I mean, it's not going to boff around when you're landing, taking off and whatever. And I was just thinking too that uh, although it slides it out, it does give it a bit of a rise. So I'd be interested to see just how level it is with that little bit of a rise there. For 
takeoff and landing. All right, so there's part one. We've practiced with our first solo slider leg. And so it seems to be working well. Let's, let's dive into the second leg that has the radio antenna in it. I'm just going to be a little bit more careful uh, when I'm taking this off because we're not going to completely remove the leg. We just want to free it up so that we can fit the bracket essentially underneath. <laughs> Save both of my screws, and now the leg is is free. As you can see, I have just enough play here. I want to keep the cable on the inside of that channel. <laughs> totally cool with the antenna. It fits inside. That was obviously one point where we could have had pressure on the antenna, but we don't have it. it clipped in nicely. So. There we go. That's really the only tricky part. I guess uh, this is where it's going to differ a little bit from their uh, video. But uh, we're going to take this piece, this uh, plastic piece here, there's a channel for which the antenna uh, is going to uh, slide. And you know, it really looks to me like we're going to be able to fit this in. A little bit of the way is what they show so that you can put the first screw in properly. And as you're doing that, it's just at the right angle. Just at the, This has been machined really very nicely. It's just at the right angle so that <clears throat> you can slide the bracket in. The cable is safe inside of the channel. And we can clip that right in. Put the first screw in. <laughs> I, I was saying earlier that I think it was machined. I don't know that it was. I, I, as far, from what I'm hearing, it's not everything that they sell is 3D printed. Um, and that a number of things that they have are injection molded. This here, uh, the plastic seems to have a texture. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool. I like the way that it complements the aircraft so far. Nice dark. Initially I thought it was black through the package. It's like a dark gray. And this is a bit of a lighter gray. It really uh, goes along nicely with the way that it all <coughs> fits together with the colors here. <laughs> so I am just now going to attach the uh, stopper. <laughs> All right, slides in and out just like it's uh, just like it's sibling over there. All right, so that uh, yeah, that slid just exactly the way that it was supposed to. And, uh, I found one one side's a little bit stiffer uh, than the other. Now the next exciting thing that I'm going to do is the leg extenders, and this is a really simple upgrade. Uh, we have our brand new leg extenders here, <laughs> not one of them facing the right side up. There we go. This is going to be an easy one. The really nice thing about these is that they're going to give us more ground clearance. Obviously when this are slid out, we're a little bit further down drops it down a little bit when it is uh, when it is uh, higher with the feet and even higher now with these. The easy way to get these off is that you uh, tilt it forward one way and kind of jam your thumb in and then tilt it the other way it pops right off. <laughs> so this is stiffer. It's not like the other one. I think it's going to take a little bit of effort. Oh yeah. That clips in nicely. Ooh, and that clips down nicely. <laughs> there we go, guys. That's it. That's, uh, kind of, it's an easy one. We're already sitting quite a bit higher off the ground. Let's take a look at how much higher off the ground we are. Right now, making sure yeah, the legs are all the way in. And with the extenders on, 
we are at five and a half inches, five and a half inches to the bottom of the body here. <laughs> yeah, five, five, five and a, a little more than five and a quarter. <laughs> Those of you that like, like numbers, now we're at well, five-ish. On the front and on the back, yeah, same, same, you know. There you go. Legs extended, feet extended. And the benefit of having it slide is that when you put it back in, and when you clip the legs up, it's back to being in the same size that it needs to be to fit inside your bag or your case because it's close to that stock size. The only difference is that you have that little bit of the riser. So the next time, uh, episode, next episode uh, that I do will be for the HDMI cable and for the uh, clip, gimbal clip, because that's a super easy one and I'll throw it in because it's nice and quick for time still, and the uh, HDMI cable, less, less vibration on the gimbal. We're going to have to take all of this apart, uh, take the gimbal off, and replace the cable. I think that's going to be a lot of fun, and we're almost there with Solo. Thanks.